they're writing songs of love, but not for me. I'm here today to talk to you about my new album, which is called Be My Love. It's a collection of 13 songs, mostly written by American composers from the first half of the 20th century, and they are some of my all-time favorite songs. And get this way, hey ho alas, and also lack a day, although I can dismiss the memory of a kiss. I guess I've been an actor for about 15 years and have appeared in Downton Abbey, Foyle's War, and in the States, a show called Person of Interest and Smash. But I've also been a musician uh, for a much longer period of my time. Because it was mostly American music, I wanted to do it in America. There's nowhere better to do it than in LA where a lot of this music was first recorded. So here's to life and every joy it brings. So I, I really was determined to make it sound as authentic as possible, but at the same time making it my own. So we were able to use a fantastic recording studio in LA, which was where Sinatra made some of the great records of the 20th century, so no pressure there. So this is the, uh, the corridor of United Studios. Dean Martin, Sammy Davis, Bing Crosby, one of my favorites, incredible singer, stylish, Frank. Ray Charles, amazing history on these walls. The studio just has a aroma of the 50s. It sort of smells of whiskey and cigarettes and uh, late nights. I think it gave the, the sound, it gave, gave some sort of the taste of sort of authenticity that we were looking for. Say goodbye. There are many um, songs on the album that are extremely well known. Uh, things like The Way You Look Tonight, Every Time You Say Goodbye, My Funny Valentine. These are songs that have been with us in our cultural consciousness for you know, 60, 70, 80 years. And I was really looking forward to re, you know, redoing those songs and twisting them, re-upholstering them but also including two or three songs that are less well known. There's a song called I'll Take Romance, which is written by a guy called Ben Oakland, so lyrics by Oscar Hammerstein, who is obviously one of the most famous lyricists of all time. But the song has a great feel to it, a great upbeat sensibility, and a romance. A romantic sort of theme really is a thread that runs through the whole record. It's real romance. While my heart is young and eager and gay, I'll give my heart away. Yes, I'll take romance. I'll give my heart away. I'll take romance. I really wanted to record a song that was the 1930s equivalent to Pharrell's Happy. Get ready for the judgment day. Forget your troubles and just get happy. You better chase all your cares away. Sing hallelujah, come on and get happy. Get ready for the judgment day. Harold Arland, who was one of the great writers um, for Broadway in the 20s and 30s, wrote a wonderful song, Get Happy. And the song is wonderfully upbeat, has a great um, sense of euphoria about it. We're heading across the river, wash your sins away in the tide. A lot of the album felt very... Uh, 
felt like a dream because we were doing it in sunny Los Angeles with ex an extraordinary band of amazing musicians and an amazing studio. With, you know, there was something that was golden about it and magical. Shout hallelujah, come on, get happy, get